the class 10. In the previous class, we have completed exercise 12.3 question number 10. Now, today we will continue with question number 11. Question number 11, this is part 2, class 10, exercise 12.3, question number 11. You can uh, take out your textbook, you just take out your textbook, textbook page 249, question number 11. Here, on a square handkerchief, nine circular designs, each of radius 7 are made. Find the area of the remaining portion of the handkerchief. So, you can just see the question here. This is the figure that is given on your textbook. So, you can just go through the uh, question. So, here radius of each circle is given 7 centimeter. Radius of each circle is given 7 centimeter. Now, let us see the diameter. Diameter of each circle is 2 into radius. So, diameter of circle or diameter of circle so you can write that is 2 r 2 into radius is 7 2 7 r 14. So, your diameter of circle is 14. Now, length of side of the square will be length of side of square is now look here length of side of square you can just look here here diameter of one circle is 14 14 14 so this is the side of square so the side of square will be 3 into 3 circle is there 3 diameter is there so 3 into diameter of circle so length of side of square is 3 into diameter that is 3 d 3 into diameter is 14, that is 42. So, length of side of square is 42. Now, we are supposed to find out area of remaining portion of handkerchief, that is area of remaining portion of handkerchief is equals to area of square area of the square minus you can see there is nine circle inside there is nine circle so area of nine circle minus area of nine circles so area of square is side square minus 9 into area of circle is pi r square 9 pi r square. So, side is 42, 9 into pi is 22 by 7. Here, radius of the circle is 7, cancel 7. 42 into 42 will multiply here, 42 into 42, 1764. 9 into 22 into 7 that is 1386 let us subtract 1764 minus 1386 8 15 minus 8 is 7613 378 Now, let us go to question number 12. Let us go to question number 12. So, take out question number 12 now. In figure OACB is a quadrilateral of circle with center O and the radius 3.5 centimeter. If OD is equal to 2, find the area of the quadrant OACB and shaded region. We are supposed to find out both. So, here radius of quadrant is given. 3.5. Question number 
so you can see the figure in figure 12.31 OACB is a quadrant of a circle with radius O and radius 3.5 so here radius of quadrant is given 3.5 centimeter uh, meter so radius of quadrant is 3.5 centimeter sorry centimeter is equal to 35 by 10 area of quadrant will find out area of quadrant number one that is area of quadrant area of quadrant OACB is 1 by 4 into area of circle so 1 by 4 pi r square 1 fourth pi value is 22 by 7 and the radius is 35 by 10 we will use 7 5 are 35 5 2 are 10 2 into 11 5 2 are 10 5 7 so 11 into 7 by 4 into 2 11 7 are 77 by 8 77 by 8 is area of quadrant. Now you find out area of triangle BOD. You can see the figure there BOD. Look here. Area of quadrant is already find out. We have find out OACB is a quadrant. Now area of triangle BOD. So area of triangle BOD is area of triangle B O D. Area of triangle is half into base into height. So we will find out here half into base is O B into height is O D. Half into O B is 3.5 and O D is given to Cancel 2, that is 3.5 centimeter square. Now, area of shaded region is area of shaded region we are supposed to find out. So, area of this shaded region is area of quadrant OSCB minus area of quadrant. O A C B minus area of triangle B O D. So area of quadrant we got 77 by 8 minus 3.5. 77 take L same is 8 minus 28. 77 minus 28 is 49 by 8 you can divide also or 8 6 are 48 or 6.125 now let's go to question number 13 Question number 13. Your question is in figure 12.32, a square OABC is inscribed in the quadrant OPBQ. If O is 20, find the area of shaded region. Use pi is 3.14. We'll have to use the pi value is 3.14 here. So, here, okay, I'll just show you the figure also. Join this diagonal.
given O A B C here O A B C O A B C is a square square and side O A is given 20 centimeter. Now the diagonal for us we will see diagonal of square diagonal of square is root 2 into side. So, here root 2 your side of square is given 20. So, this is 20 root 2 centimeter. Now, radius of quadrant we have to find out radius of quadrant is equal to diagonal of square diagonal of square here radius of quadrant is the diagonal of square so diagonal of square uh, uh, diagonal of square is sorry 20 root 2 so this is the radius of quadrant now area of shaded region we are supposed to find out so area of shaded region is area of quadrant minus area of said it reason is area of square area of sorry area of quadrant area of quadrant area of quadrant minus area of square so area of quadrant is one fourth of area of circle minus side square is the area of square 1 by 4 pi is 3.14 radius of quadrant is 20 root 2 here side is 20 20 into 20 is 400 into root 2 into root 2 is 2 4 into 100. So, 3.14 into 100 is 314 into 2. 6 to 8 minus 400 is 228. This is your area of set reason. Now, let us go to question number 14. Question number 14, you can just see the question again. A, B and C, D are respectively arcs of two concentric circles of radius 21 and 7 and center O. If angle A, O, B is 30, find the area of shaded region. So, in 14, radius of outer and inner quadrant here, outer and inner. So, here you see. Here angle is same here for angle AOB and angle COD is 30 given. So, you can see in the question. So, here radius of outer sector, radius of outer sector is given that is capital R will use. So, radius of outer sector is 21 centimeter, radius of inner sector small r is given 7. Sector angle for both is sector angle theta will be for both that is 30 degree. Area of shaded region will be area of outer sector minus area of inner sector. Area of the shaded region is equal to area of outer sector minus area of inner sector. So, area of sector is pi r square theta by 360. For outer, we have capital R. So, pi r square theta by 360 minus pi r square theta by 360. This is area of outer sector, this is area of inner sector. So, here pi we can take as common factor, theta is same. So, that also we can take as a common factor. 
So pi theta by 360 r square minus small r square. So here the value of pi is value of pi will use as 22 by 7. Theta is 30, 360. Outer radius is 21 and the inner is 7. 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 6, 2, 11. So, 11 by 7, 6 are 42. 21 into 21 is 441. 7 into 7 is 49. 441 minus 49. Subtract. 2, 9, 3. 392 by 42. Now we can cancel this. 2, 2, 2, 1. 2, 1 or 2, 1 left. 2, 9 or 18. 2, 6. 7, 3 or 21. 7, 2, 7, 8. 11 into 28 by 3. You multiply this, you will get 308. 308 divided by 3. Hundred two two by three. We can write hundred two two by three. Hundred two two by three centimeter square. That is an area. Now let's go to question number fifteen. Your question is: In figure ABC is a quadrant of circle of radius fourteen. A semicircle is drawn with BC as diameter. Find the area of shaded region. So here radius of quadrant is given 14. I will just draw the figure also here. This is the set of reason. A C B. This one you take as D. So in figure A B C is a quadrant, a quadrant of a circle of radius fourteen, and a semicircle is drawn with B C as diameter. So the B C will be the diameter of semicircle. Find the area of said region. So here, the radius of quadrant is given fourteen. Radius of quadrant is 14. So we have to see here AC is equal to AB. You can make it as AC is equal to AB here. AC is equal to AB. So radius of quadrant is 14. AC is equal to AB is 14. in right triangle BAC. AC square is AB square plus sorry A B C square is B C is hypotenuse AB square plus A C square. So B C square is A B you have fourteen A C also fourteen. Fourteen into fourteen is one ninety six 196. BC square is 196, 196. 296. 293. 392. BC is root 392. Square root of 392. We will find out LCM. 2, 1 or 2. 1, 2, 9 or 18. 2, 6 or 12. 2, 8, 2, 9 or 18. 2, 8 or 16. 2, 4, 2, 9. 7 into 7, 7, 1. That is 2 square, 2 square, 7 square into 2. 2 into 7 root 2 is 14 root 2. So, BC is 14 root 2. Here BC is 14 root 2 centimeter. Now, radius of semicircle will be diameter divided by 2. So, this will be the diameter. Diameter of semicircle. 
is 14 root 2. Radius you divide by 2. So that is 7 root 2 centimeter. So this is the radius of semicircle. We are supposed to find out area of shaded region here also. First we will find out the area of triangle BAC. Area of triangle BAC that is half into half into base into height base into height. So here base also 14 height also 14. So AB into AC AB into AC 14 into 14 2 7 or 14 7 into 14 you can multiply 14 with 7. So 7 4 are 28 7 1 or 7 plus 2 is 9 so 98 this is area for us we find out. Now we will find out area of quadrant A, B, D, C. Area of quadrant A, B, D, C is 1 by 4 pi r square. 1 by 4 pi is 22 by 7, radius is 14. 2, 2 are 4. 2 into 7. So 22 into 7 is 154. Now third we will find out area of semicircle. First we will find out area of quadrant A, B, D, C and now area of semicircle is half pi r square. Here radius of quadrant is 14 so this we can take as capital R. This is capital R. Now 1 by 2 pi is 22 by 7 radius is 7 root 2. 2 into 11, 7 into 7 is 49, root 2 into root 2 is 2. So 11 into 7 into 2, 11, 7 are 77, 154. Area of circle, 154. Now area of set region is? Area of set region is? Area of semicircle minus area of semicircle minus area of quadrant plus area of triangle BAC. Area of semicircle is area of quadrant minus area of triangle. So area of semicircle we got 154. 154 minus area of triangle is 98. That is 98 centimeter square.